In this video, I am going to show you how to configure KFON Wi-Fi router. First, we need to log in the router with the username and password. The router username and password will be available in the back side of the sticker. Here I am showing how to change the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. Once after login, we can select network. In the network, we are able to see WLAN 2.4G. Here you are able to see SSID and WPA pre-shared key. For changing the Wi-Fi name, we can change the SSID name. For changing the password, we can change WPA pre-shared key. Once after changing these settings, we need to press apply button. Don't forget, if you are already connected with the same Wi-Fi, there will be a disconnection of Wi-Fi. You need to reconnect once after changing the settings. If you are doing port forwarding and DMZ configuration, you require public IP from the provider end. So you need to verify whether you are having public IP from the provider end. Otherwise, you need to contact the provider for getting the public IP. Here we already collected the public IP from provider end for the configurations. Now I am showing how to do the port forwarding in KFON router. For this purpose, we need to select the application, then advanced NAT. Here you need to scroll down. Here you are able to see virtual server settings. This is the option for doing the port forwarding. Here we need to select the WAN interface of the internet. Here you are able to see custom and application. If you are using custom, you can manually enter the details. If you are using application, you can choose the predefined application from the router. Here I am using custom. Then select the protocol. If you are doing TCP, you can select the TCP. If you are using UDP, you can select UDP. Otherwise, you can select both TCP and UDP. And leave the source IP address. And then enter the starting port and ending port. Then enter the internal host IP address. That is our internal server IP address. Then enter the mapping name for identifying the port forwarding rules. Then press the add button. Once after, our port is forwarded. If you want to delete any time port forwarding policy, then press the delete button. If you want to do the multiple port forwarding, it will be possible to do the multiple port forwarding. Now I am going to show you how to do the DMSZ configuration in KFON router. For this purpose, we need to select the applications, then advanced to NAT. You are able to see DMSZ configuration. Here we need to select the WAN interface for the DMZ configuration. Check the enable checkbox, then enter the IP of DMZ server, then press the apply button. Here we have completed the DMZ configuration. You can uncheck the configuration box, then apply the same settings. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share, and subscribe.